welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the HDMI on a PS5 Slim. In many ways it's similar to replacing an HDMI on a standard PS5. I find it to be just a little easier. Today I'm going to walk you through the step by steps how I do it. Let's get into the video. We've got a PS5 Slim to take a look at today. It's got an issue with the HDMI. As you can see, it just doesn't have an HDMI. Let's take it apart to see what happened. We'll pop off the panels, just like that. Now we can just lift straight up on the disk drive. Fill up the security sticker. Now we'll take out all of the screws. Take out the four screws for the fan. Pop up the sticker there, disconnect the fan, and then the fan comes out. And we can remove the frame. We'll disconnect the two coax cables here. And then the shorter marathon of removing all of the screws. All right, we'll take that off. We'll carefully pull up the heatsink. We got a screw here on the board. We need to make sure we put it back before the shield as well as right here. How nice of them to keep the same screwdriver bit for these two screws. Now the board will come out. It's always going to take a little bit more effort down here in that corner. And there we go. And there is the rest of the HDMI. Let's go remove what's left and replace it with a new premium PS5 HDMI port. So for this, I'm going to take the temperature up, maxing it out, and we're going to take our airflow all the way up. some flux while it's still hot. I'm gonna cut a couple pieces of wick, about a half inch long or so, pull them over. Now I can see already I'm missing a cap there. Looks like it probably got knocked off when uh, the HDMI got slammed in there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come in from below with the heat gun and from above with the soldering tip and we're gonna pull all the solder up through those holes. If you're finding this useful, take a second and like the video below. Now we'll clean up all of the burnt flux with some isopropyl alcohol and a microfiber cloth here. For the pins, I'm going to use a 183 solder paste little bit there and then I'm going to come in with the 217 on the legs. I'm also going to tin up those two pads that are going to receive the new caps that I put on there here in a little bit. A good amount of solder on each one of those pads. I'll clean off all of the burnt flux and any excess solder. Get out my new HDMI. I like to inspect the pins, make sure they're all good. Looks good. Take some flux and I'm going to coat the Board there, and we're gonna come below again with some nice hot heat. Three, four, seven, twelve, 
about 10 seconds and I know that things are hot enough to solder. So we're gonna lay that in place. Give it a little bit of downward pressure and go one, two, three, four, twelve. Pull it away. And we're uh, double check under a microscope that those are all tapped. So now all we need is our HDMI ceramic capacitors. Just gotta line it up with its location and solder it in place. Now we'll flip it over and Hack all the legs. Now we'll come in with a 217. And just put a little bit there and there. Take our iron, heat them up. Ties them all together. I'm gonna add some flux. Come with hot air. All right, now that we've got the HDMI replaced, we've got that cap back, we've got the legs nice and tacked through and through. Go ahead and reinstall this guy and test it out. Don't want to forget the two screws with the gold arrows. Here, just to hold down the main, hold down the logic board. We'll put down this guy, get some pressure back on that. Push back in the large connector here. Put back our heat sink. And for the fun part, the longer marathon of putting all of these screws back. Now, obviously at this point you could test it by plugging the fan back in, but I'm confident in the repair. So we're just gonna close it up before testing it. All right, now let's reconnect the coax cables. We'll put back the plastic frame. We'll put back the fan. The sticker. Push down the disk drive. And finally, let's go ahead and install back the panels here. And just click in like that. And now you can see we actually have an HDMI. Let's go ahead and test this guy out, make sure we have an image. All right, let's connect up power cable. We'll go ahead and turn it on. And there we go. Repairing console and boom. All right, all good to go. So there you go. A simple way to replace the HDMI on a PS5 Slim. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Or if there's something in particular that you'd like to see, leave it in the comments below. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.